Yesterday evening it was a serious setback for the negotiations on a budget compromise in uh, Washington. The uh, House of Representatives speaker, the uh, Republican Mr. Berner, presented a plan B for then tax increases for incomes over one million. He understood that he had no chance to get this through due to resistance within his own ranks, which are then bedrock resistance, uh, where there are bedrock resistance against any tax increases. This has uh, had a very, uh, very important effect on the markets immediately. The uh, announcement of the failed uh, talks came after the session in New York had ended. Uh, both Dow Jones and Nasdaq increased or, and had gains during the session due to optimism on a budget compromise. But when the news came and reached Asia this morning, all the Asian um, uh, stock exchanges are down and the futures for Europe, Nasdaq and Dow Jones are pointing down. This also means that there is a very big aversion now against any risks. That means again that dollar is back in the center for investors' uh, attention. Uh, I would suppose that uh, investors are going to uh, flock again into dollar assets and we would see, as we have already seen this morning, a stronger dollar index. It's up 0.2%. The euro, which is regarded as a risk asset for many investors, are falling steeply in the morning and is below 1.32%. We also see that the Japanese yen, in spite of the development in Japan this week, is now losing, uh, is now gaining against the US dollar. Oil prices and commodities are down, and uh, precious metals like gold and silver are in free fall. Uh, I suspect that we would have now a very, very volatile market of the next days. Uh, the House of Representatives are going to meet again on the 27th of December, uh, but I think that the chances for reaching a solution uh, in the form of a compromise on the budget before the year end is dramatically reduced. I wish traders a very good uh, trading day and also a good Christmas holidays starting then from Sunday. Thank you.